Welcome back. Welcome back. You're tuned into your feel-good breakfast show. This is Expresso, only on SABC3. We're talking about water this morning. And, uh, you know, a scary statistic is the fact that we might run out of clean drinking water in 15 years' time. That's by the year 2030. Very, very scary. Now, the journey of water, that's what we're focusing on this morning. Journey, uh, the water fo uh, faces a lot of challenges from its origins all the way through to its consumer. And Tenji decided to go on that journey to find out exactly what happens to it and where does it all go. It's something we do a couple of times a day. We open up a tap and clean, fresh water comes out. But how often do we really think about where exactly our water comes from? Since I'm in the beautiful Natal Midlands, I've decided to strap on my walking shoes and get right to the source of this goodness. It's not an easy journey for water to reach our taps, but it's one Tenji decided to take to truly appreciate water's worth, starting at the KwaZulu-Natal catchment area. Just 8% of our land area delivers half of our river flow. And these are in the high mountainous areas like we're in now. So WWF is working hard to make sure that those areas are protected so that these natural landscapes can keep delivering us water that eventually ends up in our taps. So the one thing we can do is save water. Absolutely, we felt what it's like to do without electricity and we really don't want to be in a situation where we're starting to have to do without water. When the lights go out, you can light a candle. When the taps run dry, there's nothing else you can use. What is important now is to make sure that everybody understands that water is scarce and to do that, we educate people in terms of conserving water. People must not pollute water. Those issues are very important for us. From the catchment area, water flows into rivers where its first challenge is from surrounding agriculture, consuming more than 60% of water for growing food and commodities. On its journey into towns, an estimated 37% of water is wasted before it even reaches our taps. As leaders in the community, what is the significance of water, especially when it comes to health and wellness? Water is very precious for very, very many reasons. On a level of the land itself, and there being sacred sites that are water sites like the one behind me, like the waterfall, which has cultural value, sustains the community in terms of wisdom and stories and all of those kind of things. Sangomas and the African people believe that spirits stays in the water. So as Sangomas, we try and keep that information and that knowledge going because the truth is, water is life. However, we don't always treat it as such. Pollution is yet another challenge that water faces along its journey, and it's these pollution levels that are of great concern at Tenji's last stop, the Midmar Dam. You know, just looking at the Midmar Dam, you wouldn't say there's too much of a problem, but can you tell me about the pollution issues that the dam faces and its implications for the community? Currently, the dam is facing pollution from mainly from the sewage and potentially from the farms which uh, drains into the dam. Uh, as uh, the dam is used for like boats riding, skiing, and uh, for the um, Midma Mile, which is the largest open swimming race in the world. That shows that socially and economically the dam is of high importance. It's a precious resource and we must conserve it. One of the most significant things that I've learned today, and it was actually mentioned to us yesterday, was that we should not forget where the source comes from. It's been a serious eye-opener, you know. I can't say I really appreciated how serious the situation is. I can't say I appreciated that there was a shortage and a drought. We need to now practice uh, what we've learned. It has been a breathtaking journey, but it's no longer enough to just appreciate and admire the water we already have. We now have to actively play our part in saving water so that future generations can enjoy it, like I'm about to do now. Let's go, Tenji! Let's go! Woohoo!